In the previous lecture, we have seen the hidden terminal problem. In today's lecture, we will see the exposed terminal problem. And because of this problem, the Wi-Fi encounters collision. Before diving into the topic, let's see the outcomes of today's session. Upon the completion of the session, the learner will be able to. Outcome number one, we will understand the exposed terminal problem. And outcome number two, we will know the solution for exposed terminal problem. These hidden terminals and exposed terminal problems are also called as hidden node problems or exposed node problems. And some authors refer these problems as hidden station problem and exposed station problem. And hidden node or exposed node problems are in wireless networks. Let's see what is exposed terminal problem. Suppose we have a node called B and obviously B will be having its own coverage range. Let's say we have another node called C and this C is also having a coverage range. If you observe keenly, B and C are in the coverage range of each other. That is, B's coverage range is up to this where C is also in the coverage range of B. Likewise, C's coverage range is up to this and the node B is in the coverage range of C. This is not at all a problem. Let's see the coverage range with the help of arrows. So B has this coverage range and C has this coverage range. Now the real problem comes when another node A comes into the picture. Let's say there are two nodes coming into picture. They are A and D. Let's see what is the exposed terminal problem with the help of this scenario. Though in this scenario, we have a node B which has its coverage area where A and C are in the same coverage area of B. For C, B and D are in the coverage area of C. Now the exposed terminal problem is, suppose if node B is sending to node A, that is this node is sending to node A, and C will obviously hear this conversation. Why? Because C is in the coverage range of B. See this blue color says it is the coverage area of B. So node C is aware of this communication because it hears B's transmission. It would be a mistake for C to conclude that it cannot transmit to anyone just because it can hear B's transmission. Suppose if C wants to send it to D, this is not a problem because C's transmission to D will not at all interfere the A's ability to hear or receive from B because whatever C is going to transmit, it is going to transmit to D and its coverage range is up to this. So whatever C is going to transmit to D is not at all going to affect A because A is not at all in the coverage area of C. But C can mistakenly conclude that because of the conversation it hears from B, which is actually intended to A, it cannot send it to anybody. This is the exposed terminal problem. And what is the solution for this? And the solution is the same multiple axis collision avoidance algorithm, the MACA algorithm, which uses RTS and CTS frames, where RTS and CTS frames are in this subfield, which is the part of the frame control field. I hope now you know the exposed terminal problem and we also know the solution for exposed terminal problem. Actually, MACA algorithm is not that effective for exposed terminal problem, but MACA algorithm can handle hidden terminal problems very effectively. And that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed the lecture and thank you for watching.